One of the important concepts in accounting is the idea that every transaction always has at least two sides. Although we aren't used to thinking of it this way, every activity we do and every choice we make has two effects, a benefit and a sacrifice. For example, let's say that you decide to go out to lunch and purchase a nice juicy hamburger. What is the benefit to you? You get a delicious meal. And what do you sacrifice? You sacrificed a certain amount of money to get that meal. See? Your transaction had two sides, an increase in hamburger and a decrease in cash. This idea that every transaction has two sides is known as double entry accounting. A good accountant needs to be able to look at a transaction and identify both sides of the transaction, the benefit and the sacrifice, and also identify which accounts are affected by each side. This detective work is the analysis represented in step one of the accounting cycle and the first step that prepares us to record the transaction in the accounting system. Let's practice looking at one business transaction together and see if we can determine the benefit and sacrifice and the accounts that they use. Let's pretend that Jill needs to purchase some supplies for her business, but she doesn't have the money right now, so she purchased them on account from her vendor. What are the benefit and sacrifice of this transaction? The benefit is what Jill gained from the transaction. She gained supplies, so purchased supplies are the key words that identify the first part of the transaction. The sacrifice is what Jill gave up from the transaction. In this example, Jill didn't give up cash. Instead, she paid on account to her vendor. That's a debt she'll have to pay later. Debts are a form of sacrifice, so paid on account are the key words that identifies the second part of the transaction. Now, let's try and find the accounts associated with these two sides. When we say Jill purchased supplies, that would go to the supplies account. In a previous video, we learned that on account means accounts receivable or payable. Since Jill is purchasing, this would be accounts payable. So our two accounts for this transaction are supplies as a benefit and accounts payable as a sacrifice. Identifying the two sides of every transaction and the accounts that are associated with them is the first essential step to recording accounting transactions. The better you understand this part of the accounting cycle, the easier the other steps will become. Now I wish there was some magic formula I could whip up to make you an accounting analysis guru, but there isn't. The best way to learn is to practice, practice, practice. Try looking at transactions either in your class or in your business and practice picking the benefit and sacrifice for these transactions and looking for the accounts associated with them. The more you practice, the faster and easier it will become. To learn more about double entry accounting and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.